what have we here? Well, I would suggest to you that this is either the planet that crossed <clears throat> within our other satellites, heliosynchronous orbits per view, or the big planet that crossed ACE on the 16th, October 16th. Well, both of them actually <clears throat> made their uh, appearance around the October 16th. Now, this was caught on the SDO Solar Dynamics Observatory. <clears throat> So as you can see, it's in a uh, sort of a figure eight type of an orbit above the Earth. And its cameras are directed toward the sun. Pull up specs on its SDO. It tells you what it is. Continuous observation of the sun. And it's in an inclined geosynchronous orbit. So <clears throat> check that. Can't be the planet that passed in between the uh, weather satellites per view. More than likely, it's the planet that passed ACE, which I've been pointing out from the uh, data that I've collected over the last several months making videos so it just allows continuous observation of the sun and uh, well there you go so I click back on home SDO home You can see there's the uh, web address. So this tells you what, all about the STO spacecraft. And then click on where it is. And see it's beaming its data back to White Sands. That's White Sands Missile Range. <clears throat> Originally, I caught the video on the, my YouTube subscription page. So then I went on to helioviewer.org just to see if it was on here too. And you can make a movie if you want. You can adjust these times. But here it is here. And it just takes you to that same link. And I know some people are going to probably come out with videos tomorrow saying that this is the moon. Okay, so I tried to pull it up myself. I was unsuccessful. I don't know if that uh, they got clued to this. And they're starting to corrupt these feeds or censor it or not. Let me just go back in and look. But as you can see, that movie that I just saw in here. It's not here. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I think this stuff's being uh, censored. They, they got clued into it. Because watch. I went out and pulled it back up. Just to show you what I did. Here it is. Helio Viewer. To see if it would come back up the way it did originally. And this is what how it's coming up now. Movie spanning observation day. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. So, oh, just naturally paranoid. Sorry. There it is. Still showing. It's on uh, <clears throat> this dude's channel. Conar N A B N. So I pulled up the Colorado State EDU product, Rams, Rambi Slider, 
and this is go 16. So you can see we still have the <clears throat> planet showing up or the reflection being thrown by the planet show up. You can still see it's collated out down here. I don't know why I'm getting these on these on this uh, picture, but it's not glare on my computer screen. It's coming from this website. So as you can see, it's still passing through there, sliding closer away from the satellite, closer to the Earth, I would say. I don't see how that thing I just showed you on the SDO could be that planet, but I mean, it could be, you never know. <clears throat> I think it's still, I think it's probably the one that passed ACE on the 16th, that big one that was put producing those nine hour gaps. So this is the uh, SDO, the one that captured this image on 1107, around 2027 20, UTC <clears throat> on the A1A 171 Angstrom. Let's play it one more time. This is crazy stuff here. Now, we'll see who what people come up with tomorrow on the videos. They're going to say it's the moon, probably. But, I don't know. It could be the moon. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The more I think about it, every time we saw the moon, and the last time we saw something like this, we had the one pass this way, and then we had one come down from here and pass that way, all in the same couple of hours. And whenever we saw the moon, it was nowhere near that freaking large. So that that's not the moon. I don't care what people are going to come up with. There's no way that's the freaking moon. That thing's huge. 